NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live. Now we go down to the action at the first. Frank, were you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have first tee jitters? Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case. But uh, it's about turning that energy into some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings. Pick some good targets. And, of course, you never know what's going to happen. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Frank, which way is this headed? Well, judging by his uh, body English, looks like it's heading a little right. There is a bit of green out there, though. That is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green. But he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. That's just downright embarrassing. On the putting surface, and now off on the fringe? Wow.
just the tap in to finish the hole. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Back to the action here at the second. It's a par three. Demanding hole, Frank, isn't it? Longest par three on the golf course. Slightly downhill, but you need every advantage here. It requires your best. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Putt for par. Needs one. Two one over par early on in this round. Part four third here at Bay Hill. This is a hole where you do not want to miss left. 434 yards and plenty of water. Don't look left. Don't hit it left. Don't play left. Don't go left. A oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Frank, this is one of my favorite shots on the course here at Bay Hill, the second at number three. This is a good looking shot. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. This is a cross-country special. Looks like he just misread that. All right, no damage done. Stays at one over par with that putt. Rich Lerner with Frank Navalo back at the fourth hole here at Bay Hill. This is the first part five on the golf course. 561 yards. You thinking birdie here, Frank? No, you certainly are. Perhaps even three. This is almost ramrod straight. Little hazard down the right side. 
but a good one, you can certainly get home for two. And that's where you want to be at the fourth, in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. That's an absolute beauty. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Arnold Palmer's legacy to golf is in so many different areas. We see it just in the way people react to the game. But really, when we go to Bay Hill, it's the one golf course that you'll see his, and you've been out there, his clubs are always on, a, on the back of a cart. He's ready to go to the range. It's, it's almost in every little blade of grass out there because Arnold plays it whenever he can. The king, the, whatever you want to call him, Mr. Palmer. Um, he lives and breathes at Bay Hill. And when the tournament comes around, Every March, it's a great reminder to not just Mr. Palmer, but also the golf course and all those little obstacles that he put in your way, water normally, and, and all the great events. And it's fun. It's a golf course, too, that anybody can play. And when I think of Arnold Palmer, I think that the young professionals could learn just a few things uh, from one of the all-time greats. First of all, reach out to the galleries, sign autographs. Look make, him in the eye, make, too. Make eye contact, as he always did. Number two... Own your golf swing, whatever it is. Believe in it. Maybe a little different. It may not be by the book, but own it and be comfortable with it. And then I think number three, go for it. That's what Arnie always did. Go for it at the risk of failure because you'll never be great if you just lay back all the time. Arnie always went for it. One little lesson, too. You reminded me there. The one common denominator with just about every great player is a good grip. Arnold Palmer learned that for his dad. So... If you're picking up a golf club for the first time or playing it for the hundredth time, you need a good grip to take you a long way. Frank, nice to have a short iron into a par four here at Bay Hill, but still no guarantee that you'll make the birdie or even par. But a reward for a good one, exactly the way you've described it. This is one hole that's a swing hole. Hit a good shot in here, you're going to have inside 10, 15 feet for a birdie. Make a mistake, then all of a sudden you're scratching your head. How did I make five? safely on deck. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. With that birdie, now at one under par for the tournament.
Frank, what's the thinking here as you step to the tee at the signature hole, the long par five, sixth hole? Well, the longer hitters can go at that big pine tree. Then it's reachable in two. And if you're a little shorter, then you've got to start to sort of aim at the middle of those two bunkers. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Playing his second shot here at the par five. Uh, this is a green light special. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Just a couple of feet. <laughs> Grabs a share of the lead after making par. Now at the par 3 7, Frank, it's just under 200 yards. But it's still quite daunting. A very narrow entry on that left side. So you've got to hit the ball flush off the tee. Really guarantee a carry of that over that right bunker. So it's still a, a daunting tee shot. of the sand it looks like it that's one of the more depressing sights in golf you've hit a good one and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green great professionals frank they don't fear the green side bunker shot do they no because you can be as aggressive or as conservative as you want you actually have far more options and you don't have to hit the ball first Solid play, heart of the green. This one just requires a little bit of focus.
That is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. Gives back a shot and now drops into third place after the bogey. Let's move on to the eighth, and Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four, just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat, because that second shot, you, you know what's coming up. Good tee shot right in the short grass. Superb position right in the fairway and 200 yards to the flag stick. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Made the green. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Moves up into second place with that par. He's got his eyes well entrenched on the leader. Finishing up here on the front side at Bay Hill with a lengthy par form. What's the key, Frank? Well, the hole's relatively flat, uh, but the rough on the right comes into play. If you can carry that ball 300 yards, then just take it in over the bunker. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. Frank, I think that's going in the bunker. Looks like it. Rub the shamrock. Got away with getting in the bunker there. 
Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. gotta be kidding me that was right on the edge i tell you he wants to do over there even par currently and that par certainly won't uh, hurt the course and still some time Back here in Orlando, Florida at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Springtime in Florida can mean only one thing, Frank. Perfect golf weather. How do you get off to a perfect start on this backside? Well, this is one of the few holes that actually shapes to the right. Uh, most of the holes at Bay Hill are dog leg lefts. Um, for the faint of heart, just sort of flicking iron down there, just sort of short of the bunkers. Uh, if you're feeling a little ambitious, just take it over that one on the right. Just a wedge in here. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10th. Second shot, Frank, now to the par 4 10th. Have to look, first of all, which quarter of the green that the flag is, because this 10th green really is four different quarters. Um, as long as you're keeping that second shot in that little area, then 10 will certainly reward that second shot.
On the green, sure, but plenty of real estate between the ball and the hole. This is a pretty long putt here. You'd be happy to get this to within two or three feet. You really want to take the stress out of that next putt. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Still even par for the day. Frank, 440-yard par for 11th. You see that number on the card, you think, driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second-shot hole. not overly long but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway yeah that's in that 280 mark frank the second shot here at number 11 another good looking shot not unlike the third hole with water along the left what's the right way to play this obviously you'd like to walk off 11 with three but uh four here never really hurts the scorecard uh, this is one hole you sort of play with an orange light feeling a little right of the flag that's absolutely fine to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Comfortably inside that cut line, the former national champ makes birdie. Frank, now we're at the 574 yard, par 5, 12. How critical are the par 5s if you're trying to put a score on the board here at Bay Hill? They're crucial, Rich, because the, the par 4s are very, very difficult. So anytime you get a par 5, you've really got to take advantage of it.
Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. So after the layup, Frank, here at the par 5, 12, hit shot here, try to make birdie. Yeah, just use the contours of this green. Uh, you can actually get to this flag a lot of different ways. Uh, using one of the mounds, there's nothing wrong with that. Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Settles in over the putt. birdie and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard a series of good holes in a row has got him to this point at the par 4 13th now and frank what's the key here really avoid those three bunkers rich you don't want a fairway bunker shot over water for your second shot Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Frank, this is what they call a short field, just 120 players, because it's an invitational, one of only five tournaments on the PGA Tour with invitational status. Yeah, it's not just any invitational, too. It's an invitation from the king. Regarded as a very accurate player, that shot says it all. These putts keep the round together. Excellent roll for three under par. Frank, as we come to the 14th of par three, what's ahead for the players? Once again, another tough par three coming up. A narrow at the front. It gets a little wider the further you go up this green.
That is tasty looking right there from just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that, Sarah, so that you could hit any club from there? Setting up for an approach shot here. Frank, this really is a remarkable turn of events, considering that earlier we had pretty much written them off. Well, we had, and for good reason, too. It was not playing well. Um, it looked like it, it, the round was going to continue to go in that direction. But somehow, and believe me, I don't know how, he's just completely turned this round around. And Frank, that steady play continues. Rock solid. Excellent approach shot. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Another one goes in. At the 15th hole now at Bay Hill, this is a massive dog leg, Frank. Yeah, if you're a Bubba Watson type player and you can move the ball around, you can move it left to right, that'll certainly help the tee shot. Uh, if you're average Joe, though, just hit it down the left. Take your medicine. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Try up next. Getting set now over the putt. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Four par. Now really, 
Rich, right now it's just a case of running out of holes. Pars are fine. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. Takes an excellent shot. And that 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front. That second shot which comes over the lake. And that's a hold your breath moment. It is a great finishing three hole stretch at Bay Hill. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Playing his second shot here at the par five. That's an absolute beauty. Frank, what are you doing with this third shot here to the par five? Uh, a little bit of nerves. Uh, make sure you get a little bit past the hole, and there's a bit of a ridge at the back of the screen. Often you can spin the ball back towards the hole. Standing shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Once considered the best player at the college level, our featured golfer makes birdie sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Frank, par 317 here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tear it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Headed for the bunker? You don't want to make a habit of it. In the bunker, again, off the tee. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? 
Well, really you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know, it might just go in. So he's hit it inside 30 feet, not his best, but still a chance. Yeah, the odd 28 footer, and that's exactly what it is. I've seen a few of those go down. This one just requires a little bit of focus. That's just a poor putt right there. No other way to say it. And a drop shot, a bogey at 17. Bad news is, that's a bogey. The good news, still tied for the lead. He's the only one disappointed. The rest of the field aren't. They made it a real cat fight. Frank, this is a stout finishing hole the 18th isn't it yeah it finishes that great run of 16 17 and 18 and so many times we've seen disaster and triumph just on those final three holes Good lie in the fairway, a good chance to make something happen here. Well, it looks as though they're going to need to use all their strength to sort of... He went for the brief swim there, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. Yeah, it's not all over, but uh, right now, too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is... He might get a jumper here. That was well done, and now a very short putt to get out of here with a bogey. Well, it could be a lot worse, that's for sure, five minutes ago. And getting ready for the putt. That's a round of 70 on the deck. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.